Another online side hustle na pwede natin pagkakitaan while working at home. Hey everyone, Jekka here. I'm sharing different online side hustles you can do from home. So if you're interested in learning more, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Ayan, since na-download na natin siya, naka-zip file siya, so ang gagawin nyo lang is i-unzip nyo lang yung file na yon, Kasi makikita nyo dito yung cover and then the interior pages. Dalawa yung makikita nyo dito na separated yung cover and yung interior pages. Kasi pag nag-publish tayo mamaya, separately natin siya i-upload. So now, after signing up for an account, let's go to kdp.amazon.com. And then, punta tayo sa bookshelf para, makuha nat para makagawa na tayo ng ating listing. We just have to click create. And then, dito makikita natin yung types ng book na gusto natin gawin. So, again, ang ginawa natin is paperback. So, paperback yung pipiliin natin. So, click create paperback. And then, from here, there are three steps na gagawin natin. The paperback details, yung paperback content, and yung paperback rights and pricing. Ang mga finifilapan ko lang dito sa paperback details is yung book title. So, it's a graph uh, composition notebook. And then, uh, series is optional since it's our first time na mag-create ng notebook and wala pang changes so hindi natin lalagyan ng edition number your the name of the author so ilagay lang natin yung pangalan natin for contributors since ako lang naman yung gumawa ay hindi na hindi ko na siya lalagyan and then for the description lalagyan niyo lang dito yung information about your product so let's say this one you can also format the text here and then, yung publishing rights naman, ako yung gumawa. Since ako yung gumawa, I own the copyright and I hold necessary publishing rights. And then, the primary audience, does the book's uh, cover or interior contain sexually explicit images? No. And then, ito, hindi ko na to nilalagay. For the pr uh, primary marketplace, Amazon.com. So, nilalagay ko siya sa Amazon.com. For the categories, you can choose up to three categories. So, click nyo lang yung choose categories and then click lang ninyo yung isa. Uh, let's say, under siya sa biographies and memoirs or uh, just choose kung alin dito yung category na, na kung saan nag-fall yung ating ginawa na notebook. And then after choosing the category, does your book classify as any of these types? So, low content book versus large print book. So, low content book lang yung ginawa natin kasi di ba notebook lang naman. And then for the keywords, you can set up to 7 uh, keywords. Dito, these are optional. But for me, I would always put yung mga keywords dito. Composition notebook. So, lagay nyo lang dito, graph composition notebook. So, lalagay nyo lang siya dito uh, sa 7 boxes. For the publication date, pareho lang naman yung publication date and release date. So, kung ngayon is um, January 28, talimbawa. So, January 28. Yung publication date and release. And then dito, um, release my, my book for sale now, yes. But you have to wait up to 72 hours to go live kasi i-approve pa yan ni Amazon. Um, may mga um, mag-email naman si Amazon if approve yung product mo or may mga changes kang kailangan gawin. So, sa akin, dun sa first uh, book na pinablish ko, nagkaroon ng problema, dun sa cover... So, naka-receive ako ng email na hindi na, na may may problema. And then, sasabihin naman doon kung ano yung kailangan mong gawin. And then, after that, I nag-email ulit sila na publish na yung aking notebook. So, once we're done, we are just going to save. So, pag successful na, we are now on the second step which is yung content. So, we can publish without an ISBN. And then, dito sa print options, we are just going to choose yung black and white interior. So, ibig sabihin nito is uh, black and white lang siya. Pag-colored kasi ganito siya, medyo mas mahal. And for the trim size, we're going to um, choose kung ano ba yung size ng ating product kanina. So, it's 8.5 by 11. So, this one. Tapos, bleed, PDF only. Kailangan natin ng bleed kasi sa printing. And for the paperback, it's all up to you kung matte or glossy yung finish. So, pwede namang glossy, pwede rin namang matte. So, sa manuscript, eto na yung ating interior page. 
remember yung ginawa natin kanina yung uh, ito yung mga graph these are the uh, interior pages so yun yung i-upload natin dito dun sa na-download natin kanina ito siya ito interior so just have to click open and then let's just wait for it to upload so since uploaded na siya we can now upload our uh, cover uh, photo or yung ating cover ng notebook so dito just have to click co upload cover you already have so nasa P naka pdf na rin siya and then just click open and then let's just wait for it to upload So, ayan. Cover uploaded successfully. Alam niyo kung bakit ako nagkaroon ng problema dun sa unang upload ko ng notebook. Because I use Canva and hindi ka talaga ako familiar dun sa mga uh, sizes. Kaya nung nag-shift ako sa bookball, talagang guided na ako. Even yung mga sizes, yung bleed, yung mga yan, wala na akong problema. Kaya... Um, sa lahat ng pinapublish ko, if I created it from BookBolt AI, automatically na-approve na siya after 72 hours. So, hindi ko na kailangang i-modify yon Unlike before natin, minu-modify ko pa siya because of some problems with the sizes. And then, once we're done, dito, did you use AI tools in creating text, images? So, hindi naman tayo gumamit ng AI. Pero kung gumamit kayo ng AI, wala naman problema if i-click nyo yung yes. And then, dito, let's just click uh, launch uh, previewer para makita natin kung ano yung tsura ng ating uh, product. So, ito na yung ating uh, preview. So, you just have to... Uh, check kung tama ba, ganito ba yung gusto nating itsura ng ating uh, book. So, look at the image above. So, nakita nyo yung, yung red line na yan, ibig sabihin yan yung ikakat ni uh, Amazon. So, hindi ko na-adjust yung, yung element dito. Dapat medyo mas mababa pa siya, no? Para makuha siya ng buo. But anyway, uh, kung may chance pa na palitan, pwede naman ninyo siyang palitan. So, pag na-approve na ninyo at okay na to, just click approve. And then, mapupunta tayo dun sa previous page. And then, we're now uh, here, no? So, may mga, ayan, may mga printing costs tayo from different uh, marketplaces. Let's just click save and continue kasi i-edit naman natin yan dun sa next page which, which is yung i-edit natin yung pricing. So, pag nandito na tayo sa paperback rights and pricing, so, ito, wala na ako masyadong ginagalaw dyan. Dito na tayo ngayon magpapresyo. So, if you remember kanina, yung sinabi ko na $7 yung magiging price ng ating notebook. So, pag clinic nyo yung $7 dito, automatically, nag adjust na lahat ng prices sa different marketplaces. So, since ang primary marketplace natin is Amazon.com, by the way, Amazon.com is US ang marketplace nito. Itong Amazon.co.uk, of course, sa UK yan. Ito naman sa Germany. Ang cost ng ating printing is 2.84. So, ang rate niya is 60%. So, ang possible na maging royalty natin dito is 1.36 lang. So, royalty is how much you'll earn for each sale based on the price list. So, we could, we could all so increase it to $8 kung gusto natin para makita natin yung estimated na royalty natin. So, 1.96. And then, below that is... Uh, it can take up to 72 hours for your book to be available to purchase on Amazon. And then, pwede naman kayong mag-request ng book proof uh, wherein makakareceive ka ng printed preview ng book mo bago siya maging live. Pero sa akin, since I'm in the Philippines and medyo siguro matagal and uh, confident naman ako na okay siya, let's just click publish your paperback uh, book. So, dito sa... Uh, pa after publishing this one, again, you have to wait for 72 hours before Amazon could actually publish your your uh, notebook. So, magiging ganito na yung uh, itsura niya. So, pa para malaman mo kung live na siya, uh, makikita mo dito is live. Pero ngayon, naka-in-review pa siya kasi nga ay hinihintay pa natin yung approval ni Amazon. Kapag naman na-publish na siya, makaka-receive kayo ng email na katulad nito... Pag na-publish naman siya, makaka-receive kayo ng email from Amazon na live na yung product ninyo and pwede na siyang makita ng mga buyers ninyo. And you know what? Hindi siya ganun kadali, lalo na nung first month ko talagang I have zero sales kasi I really um, use my time para pag-aralan ng mabuti yung about sa Amazon KDP just to make sure na wala akong magiging problema, most especially dun sa... Uh, rights, okay, baka ma-copyright kasi ako, magkaroon pa ako ng problema. 
take note, 23 books pa lang itong na-publish ko. And how much more if I create more books? So, more chances na magkaroon pa ng mas mataas na royalties kung sisipagan lang natin siya na gumawa. So, my final thoughts is... Um, this method definitely works, but success depends on a few key factors. Number one, choosing a book type that sells well. So, hindi kayo basta, basta gagawa ng product. Kailangan ninyong i-research kung ano yung mga high demand, uh, low competition na mga products. You have to also create a strong brand. So, yung pag sinabi kong strong brand, it could be the way how you design your product. May consistency ba dun sa mga type of products na ginagawa ninyo? And third is using the right keywords and categories to get found. So, very important talaga yung pag-create ng keywords. So, if you want to try yung Book Bolt, alam ba ninyo that Book Bolt is offering 20% discount if you use my code Ay, lalagay ko na lang dito sa screen and then yung link dun sa book vault is ilalagay ko na lang din dito sa description so if you want to more videos about Amazon KDP let me know in the comment section and see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to effectively use the Amazon KDP Beginner's Guide eBook. This eBook is designed to help you understand the fundamentals of Amazon KDP from setting up your account and listing products to publishing and marketing your books. What you'll learn in this ebook, step-by-step guidance on setting up your Amazon KDP, how to list your books properly to maximize visibility, the essential tips for posting and marketing your low-content books. But that's not all. I've also included exclusive bonus guides to make your publishing process much easier. Bonus 1, cover and interior template guide. To ensure your book meets Amazon KDP's formatting requirements, I've included a template guide that helps you position your designs correctly. Here's how to use it. The white area indicates the safe zone where all important text and design elements should be placed. Second is the black line which represents the trim line. Anything outside this line will be cut off when printed. The blue area marks the spine of the book. So how to use the template? You just have to insert your cover design within the white area and you have to ensure elements stay within the white area to prevent cropping. And once your design is finalized, remove the guideline before saving and uploading your file to Amazon KDP. Bonus 2 are the 18 pre-designed interior pages. When creating your interior pages can be time-consuming, especially if you're unfamiliar with the proper dimensions. And to save your time and effort, I've included 18 designed interior pages commonly used for low-content books. These templates ensure correct formatting and minimize the chances of your book being rejected by Amazon KDP. Bonus 3 are 60 trending low-content book ideas. If you're struggling to come up with profitable book ideas, this guide contains a curated list of 60 trending low book niches along with their direct links to existing bestsellers. These links allow you to analyze real examples of books in that niche, get, in, uh, get inspiration for your own designs and content, understand the key elements of successful listings, including product descriptions and keywords and as a final gift i'm sharing six templates from my best-selling low content books to help you get started faster you can customize these templates to create your own unique books with ease if you want to learn more about selling digital products and succeeding on amazon kdp don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials and tips if you want to get this ebook the link is in the description below